Good morning. Peace and blessings. I'm the Moon Mama. How are y'all doing today? I thought I'd come out and sort of just be here today um, in my in my neighborhood. How are you? Um, happy Wednesday. Today is the day that um, Mercury governs. And guess what? <laughs> guess what, y'all? Guess what? Mercury begins its shadow today. Mercury retro Mercury goes into retrograde on October 14th in Scorpio, and it begins the shadow um, today. And what that means is that this is the point where Mercury will return to as it does its retrograde. Um, so this is the first marker. So today is the day when you want to be thoughtful of what you're thinking, like what the patterns, huh, what behavior patterns are showing up. The thing that's interesting about Mercury is that Mercury is the closest planet to the sun and it's the planet that goes the fastest. So um, because it's the closest planet to the sun, it's the closest planet to the generating force of life. It's the light and it governs our minds, right? So our minds are the focus of energy our minds are focused on the energy that is our um that is our essence that is our vitality and and so when we understand our sun sign so say for instance my son is in virgo and the and mercury follows the sun right so my son is in virgo so my mercury is most happy when i am focused on the activities of being a virgo which is about healing and service and um, being internal and being meticulous and and driven towards growth that is the thing that makes my personality most happy my mercury feels most aligned when i am in my sun experience doing what i am here to do um, mercury is also the planet like i've said before that governs our ability to be um, it, it governs our ability, like our mind. So our mind is where we create heaven and hell. I know we were told something different as Christians. We were told that heaven is out there and you gotta be a certain way to get it. And, and if you behave a certain way, then you'll get to heaven. And if you behave a certain way, then you're destined to hell. And all those are just childhood Mr. Miss bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> because heaven and hell are internal and mercury the planet that governs our mind is the um the in the basically the inventor of heaven and hell because well not the inventor of it but the leader to it right so if our if we're thinking if our thoughts are filled with obsessions and jealousies and envies and fears and and turmoil and history right if we're thinking about the history then we're in hell but if our thoughts are about being present and love and being unconditional and being creative and self-expressive, then we are in heaven. So it's all your choice. That's the thing that we weren't taught um, in this country, that heaven and hell is a state of consciousness and it's a choice. It doesn't mean that it's an easy choice because the thing that I know about Mercury is that, you know, Mercury creates the, um, our thoughts then then create brain patterns for us so if you grew up think like I did for instance I grew up feeling um, like a victim and things were working against me and I never get what I want so that thought pattern created a groove in my brain so I've had to and that's hell <laughs> right that's hell so I've had to work myself out of that conditioning I've had to work myself out of that mindset and begin to reprogram my brain patterns right and so literally it means that when the when the um when the invitation comes for me to be in my story about being a victim or not having enough or somebody's out to get me i have to feel that frequency because it, it triggers something in my brain that then triggers something in my body i feel it and then I ask myself, what else is possible? Can I make a new choice? Because that is what we're required to do. We have to build new brain waves by, build new brain patterns, which create new brain waves by actually catching ourselves in the act of the thing that 
is causing us the challenge catching ourselves in the act taking responsibility for it so you know it's like um if i'm in a story about not having what i need and not having what i want the tendency could be for me to be like you know this country is so awful and black people never get what they want no 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 <laughs> that's bullshit because you live in a universe i live in a universe that is abundant that is not subject to man's laws and man's experiences so i have to then remind myself that's bullshit that's a story you can buy into if you want to but you have another choice and i have to just massage the energy like okay what else is possible what so i go to the easiest thing that i can recall like, is that i'm abundant or i go to an experience where the abundance showed up and i was able to actually capture a new way of feeling about it or being about it and i remember that and bring that energy into the current experience which will then create a begin to really rewire those brain patterns oh you guys we are in a really incredible experience um the moon today is in sagittarius and the moon in sag is an energy of it's 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 do you have faith in who you are like with all of this stuff that's going on can you still remember what you're up to like don't get distracted by the bullshit don't get this it's like really the more you lean into your faith and lean into your belief and your knowing in the times when things are difficult and almost completely oppositional and showing you that whatever you think ain't right the more you can lean into it anyway and hold it you can then pop into a new reality like the universe will meet you there but it requires it requires discipline it requires loyalty to what you know it requires um you know re refuting all other things right it requires letting things go like i've had to really focus and allow myself to let go of relationships that you know i um so it's interesting i you know we might find ourselves i had had relationships where people carry fear and when we are in relationships with people friends family our nervous systems are aligned to them like that's just how it is right the people that you're closest to your psychic energy aligns to them so you pick up people's fears you pick up what people are thinking and feeling without even knowing it in your conscious mind so one of the things that i was seeing is that i i had friendships with people who carried fear who were afraid about the coronavirus or afraid about any and and that frequency was aligning in my own psyche so i had to shift those relationships out because um they were not they were not they were aligned with my old way of being and not aligned with my new way of being and so like i started this saying is that mercury is going into its retrograde shadow i'm going to be um i'll have the link for the new class for next week i encourage you all mars is going to be in retrograde until the end of november mars retrograde is an incredible opportunity to help shift this identity stuff because it's the world that we're living in that's still kind of standing on toothpicks <laughs> is really going to collapse really challenge it's going to get really challenging and the only way to shift it is through consciousness the only way to shift it is through your belief systems and your understanding of yourself in it um and be beginning to redefine those frequencies and energies and so i encourage you to sign up for the mars retrograde course that's why i make all of these courses affordable because these courses help you shift the energy and i i want them to be affordable because i need you guys to take it for you so that because what we do for ourselves we do for one another so the more of us that get on board <laughs> the better off we all are and that's why i make it affordable because i want everyone to be able to access it because the better off we all are if we all understand what's happening the better off we all are um the mercury retrograde link will be available next week i'm starting to work on that now I'm gonna have a guest teacher if you guys know ricky williams he was a football player heisman trophy winner um sorry there's a lot of noise a football player heisman trophy winner and he is He's a dear friend of mine, a teacher of mine, and he's going to be teaching the Mercury Retrograde course 
um, with Kelly and I, and we are, it's going, because Mercury's retrograding in Libra and Scorpio, and so the, the title of this course is The Hate You Love to Give, because Scorpio is all about our shadow energy. So we're going to be working on transforming, transmuting our shadow energies into power into power so that we're not at the effect of it like you guys have been hearing me talk about being at the effect of being obsessive and needy and like obsessing about a particular person and this this class is going to teach us how to reframe those energies and shift them into new ways of being and I just I'm so excited because Ricky is a fucking amazing teacher first of all <laughs> um, he's just he's a wizard like nobody else and and this Mercury retrograde is happening in the throes of this election. And it goes direct the day before we have the election. So the energy is gonna be really high and intense. I really encourage you all to um, give yourself the permission to participate and be renewed. But first and foremost, sign up for the Mars retrograde class because that's a prerequisite. It's, you know, it can be a prerequisite, It's a it helps you get to do the forgiveness work and changing your mind so um with that ah we are still in the equinox energy the sun has moved into libra this is all about reflections and partnership this month all about the mirror really understanding the mirror i'll talk about that more on sunday when we come into the sunday um but pay attention to your relationships especially with mercury going into shadow what story are you telling about your relationships? You know, what, and we're, we're, we're gonna be breaking out of these patterns. So we're gonna be telling ourselves new stories. We're gonna create new patterns. And, um, you know, and the reason I do the classes is because they give you a framework for how to do it. And they give you practices and tools because this stuff doesn't happen overnight. It's not a quick fix. That's what we gotta understand. This is not a quick fix. This is an opportunity to transmute the energy and it, and you have to build it. You have to build the new structure for it inside of yourself. So this is why I share the way that I do. So for all of you, thank you so much. I love y'all. Y'all mean everything to me. Um, peace and blessings. Have a wonderful day. I'm the Moon Mama. Bye.